Do you know this woman? No? Then it's high time you do. This is Fei Wang, the goalkeeper of the Chinese women's national team and the first Chinese player to make it into the women's Bundesliga. The 25-year-old wants to shine on the international stage at the World Cup this summer. Her recent move to Turbina Potsdam is the first step towards that aim. My coaches told me from the beginning that Germany is well known for its great goalkeeper training. So I thought, I want that too. I want to become a great goalkeeper. Fei has been in Potsdam for only four months. It's her first job outside of China. She hardly speaks any German and her English is also limited. But she makes an effort to speak a lot. Fei's family is from northeast China. Her mother, who is visiting at the moment, has never been outside that region before. Fei, on the other hand, has traveled around quite a bit with the national team. She left home at 12 to attend a sports academy. Fei wanted to be a striker, but her youth coach saw her long legs and knew she was going to be tall, so he put her in goal. Today, Fei stands at 1 meter 78, tall for a Chinese woman. Her training as an outfield player helps her between the goalposts. I would say Fei's strength is in her legs. You notice right away. She's very good developing play and in the general game. Has good goal kicks and athletically, she's very strong as well. She's definitely fit. There's one or two things on the technical side that are not 100%, and she can still work on those, but her athleticism makes up for that. This is Bernd Schröder, head coach of Turbina Potsdam. He's a legend in women's football. He's been doing this for 45 years and helped to establish the club. Fei Wang had to get used to his directness. It's a little difficult because she's very sensitive. I think there were some tears in training recently. So the goalkeeper's coach took her aside and asked, are you going to cry or are you going to do something? She didn't understand at first. But then when they look into their souls, what do I mean by that? It doesn't mean you cry for hours, right, Faye? But the eyes have to be open, because when you cry, you can't see the ball. It's all fine. We made a good acquisition with her. Her mother was here, too, and cooked for her. It's all fine. Fay learned two things from Schroeder right away. Don't be late, and no phone calls on the team bus. She had to sign a book of rules. Sometimes the cultural differences seem huge. Now it's time to go home. Faye only lives five minutes from the training ground. Her mother is waiting for her. But she can't open the door. I think the key was inside. Ma! Faye's mother's in Potsdam for a month. I wanted to see what it was like where my daughter lives. In China, Faye's parents have a small restaurant. Today I'm making Chinese dumplings. The filling is made from beef and vegetables. Faye hasn't got used to German cuisine yet. Of course I'm happy when I get home from training and dinner is almost ready. <laughs> the two are enjoying their time together. Although Fei only lived a couple of hundred kilometers away from her parents when she played for Dalian Shide, she hardly saw them. Players in China barely have any free time. They all live together in a hotel. But in Potsdam, Faye has her own apartment, paid for by the club, and a lot more freedom.
Her move to Germany was celebrated in China. She receives fan letters from home all the time. One fan gave her these pictures at the last international match. Now, thanks to Faye, Potsdam have more Chinese fans. At the first indoor tournament for Potsdam, I won this prize for best goalkeeper. I didn't even know there was such a thing until I heard my name called out. The others said, go on, you won. I was very excited about it. The German Bundesliga and the Chinese national team. Fei tries to accommodate both. That's why she's attempting to learn German. I study German every day, but I think it's very hard, also in terms of pronunciation. In Chinese, we speak with our tongue, and in German, it's in the throat. The teachers say I should gargle with water to be able to pronounce the R. I always have to practice to get it right. I'll do my best to learn it fast. Turbina Potsdam are an international club. The players come from the US, Denmark, Japan and Equatorial Guinea, and they learn the essentials together. Turbina are one of the clubs that have specialised in women's football. They've won the league title six times, the German Cup three times and the Champions League twice. I think training in the Bundesliga is really the best. The success is based on the promotion of the young players. It's great. Some start at only six years old, I've heard. I see a lot of children in the afternoon, and they train very thoroughly and professionally. That has laid the foundation of the success of German football. I think they do it better than in China. And there's another thing that's different from China. Laughing is allowed in training. <laughs> when Faye travels to an away match, her mother gets to go with her. Both like the classic architecture in Germany. Here, that's where we went. This place in Potsdam. The city is small. <laughs> Faye runs into a few teammates in the city. They get together outside of training regularly. Once a week, they cook together. <laughs> Back to training. At the moment, the team have one focus. The cup final against Wolfsburg on May the 1st. For Faye, it's her biggest match in Germany so far. I dream of the moment when we get to hoist the cup into the air. We will pull it off. We have the quality for it. We're strong enough, absolutely. And soon after that, it'll be time for the Chinese national team's training camp. The World Cup in Canada starts on June the 6th. And that's where Fei Wang hopes to win big. <laughs>